Merry Christmas! Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a very cute one and I think good for a lot of different occasions. Doesn't have to be Christmas, but I'm into the Christmas <laughs> season. So that's where it came this idea. And um, look, if you speak Spanish, um, I have two playlists. And when I start making this YouTube channel, I start making videos in Spanish because that is my first language. And looking back, it seems like it's been already four years. Wow. The thing is, there's a lot of designs that I just made in Spanish and then I didn't have the time to make it in English. Um, I was today kind of like looking back, you know, because it's always a good idea. I start making these videos thinking about first myself, having as a library idea to, you know, like organize my ideas because I'm very like, woo, distracted. And so making videos helps a lot. <laughs> but um, why I say all this? Because I was watching a one tutorial that is like amazing. It's so cool, but it's in Spanish. And um, I was thinking why I never made it in English. And it was one of the first one probably ever made. So what I'm um, watching these videos, then I was just making one very simple figurine, but it's like, wow, well, wait, if you see, this looks like an angel in my mind. And I just leave it there. And I never made it, you know, the, that idea, that little concept. So um, so now, like four years after, <laughs> I'm here, I'm gonna show you. First attempt, and we're gonna make some variations. Now, this can be one balloon design. That's how it came, the main idea, yes. But look, I am a balloon scrap keeper and user. So I use my balloon scraps a lot. And this is gonna be the moment to use. This is the moment that is like, wait, let's do it. If you don't keep your scraps, it's okay. Don't worry. You can use a new entire balloon and then I'm sure you can use it for many other uses, um, you know, functions for this design. Because look, this is just one idea, but look, if you don't have, a, you have an entire balloon yellow, the rest can be just puffing air and it can be like a Christmas ornament angel. And this can be another way to make a Christmas ornament or anything that you can hang out so kids can wear it as a little cute bracelet holding an angel. This can also be a fairy idea. Very easy, very simple. Um, pretty much you can also see it as a, you know, if you make, um, I don't know, antennas, then it became, you know, a butterfly. But I'm going to just kind of give it a little extra twist because all these, I just made it with scraps. That means I have a, like a, these ones from other 260 white, this part, other 260 white scraps. Okay, so now face, very easy. The, the main thing I was thinking, okay, angels, cute faces, play with the eyes. If it's already, this is so simple, you can make some um, kind, of, kind of elaborated eyes. You can always put the white dot in the middle just to see how, um, just one dot in the side between the blue and the, uh, what is the blue and the black can give it a highlight you see so stuff like that but why not if you have stickers like this with colors can also be a, an idea for the um the eyes you can make a bigger or a small but this is a cute small design so let's now make it into a reality what is already in my mind so let's start it and uh now you are uh, because it's a tutorial and we're gonna use it with entire balloons, okay? In case you think, oh, can I do this in an event and I don't have all my scraps? Because when I go to events, I don't really take my whole scrap organizer thing. No, I play with the scraps I've been, you know, using at the moment, leftovers from the designs I'm making at the moment of the party most of the time. So now I'm gonna use entire balloons. So let's start this video. And again, use a star, uh, you can start with a 260 white, but if you have Decomex, 160 Y may be better. But let's go with the 260 because I'm guessing most of you will have 260 Y. Okay, 260 Y. Um, balloon scrap, really, because you're not gonna use it this time. You know, the blush is gonna be the face, and it can be mocha brown, okay, for the face. Then, um, if you use mocha brown, maybe you can think about what other color for the hair. It can be black or gray. I don't know, baby. An angel with um even white you know you can try white so it might be another style even yellow orange so play with that idea you can 
Okay, so I'm gonna blow this white to 60, like approximately eight, nine finger tail. And then uh, you're gonna use a yellow. So we're gonna um, try to play with the entire yellow to 60 so you kind of see the idea of what I was talking about. Uh, I'm already kind of guessing we're not gonna use it all. So we can just blow a little bit, really a little bit, and then the rest is gonna be like something to hang. And even if you will have left over. So that's kind of like, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just blowing this. I'm experimenting with all of you and you will see the process. This is the cool part about these videos. It's, um, you have already the design there. You know what is gonna happen. I'm here <laughs> with not knowing that yet, but I'm very optimistic. So one only color, okay, I'm going with brown. And again, it's a balloon scrap. So if you have any scrap, this is the moment to use it. If it's not, try uh, and play with a balloon scrap. Um, and I found this. This is a 160 Decomex, but it do 60 will work great too. So go work with what you have available. Look, you just need something like this, okay? Again, playing with scraps also, um, the good thing is you're gonna get rid of your scraps, okay, for a good use, but uh, it's also, um, you know, keep in mind, you know, there are things that you don't need and as many colors you put, it's gonna look much better. If you only use it with one color white, it's gonna have a white face. Maybe you can do blush Sharpie with a little face around, you know, but just this little is a balloon scrap. Why not to add it? So uh, I think pretty much we have all the colors we need. Yeah, I'm like throwing and tying balloon scraps even that I said I will not gonna do it but I'm just using it okay so there you go now this can be pink like blue instead of white why not play with that pastel colors even light purple like hmm I can see this can be very very cute okay even pastel green you know play with all the colors the angels doesn't have to be you know all white it can look very cute with pastel colors for a dress or light colors Okay, so um, this is what I did. I'm gonna make a two, no more than three finger bubble, pinch twist, yep. I'm doing it this way, but you know, you can just leave it empty and just make the rest with actually the 260 yellow. Now you see, I'm, in, I'm thinking, ha, 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 ha. So you can just leave it like this and measure approximately three finger bubble. It's like Cecilia, what are you doing? I said, I'm experimenting. Again, many different ways to do this, okay? So when you're here, you're gonna make sure like two finger bubble, pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, just to keep kind of like that's gonna be the center, okay? Then I'm gonna kind of go take it to one side and make like a long loop, like a butterfly idea. So let's try with like four finger loop, between four to five. And make sure the other one is gonna be a little a slightly smaller. Okay? So you have something like this. It's like Cecilia, this is pretty much a bucket, like pretty much. Again, less four finger bubble or five finger bubble loop. And pass it around. And then let's make another small uh, loop, like the same size to the other side. Okay. Now, make sure the pinch twists are in the center and you can do that at the end if you want. I just don't want to forget. Now, um, a lot of times people like to open these loops to make it more like for the butterfly idea. But in my case, you know, I think for this design, I just want to keep it this way. It's because I need to attach more balloons and I don't want this part to be too, you know, crowded. So you're gonna get something like this. Now with this, you're gonna maybe measure a little bubble here, like, like two or three. And if you want, you can grab this and make it into like a pinch twist if you have enough, uh, you know, space. So I'm gonna grab, making this actually two finger long, and then try to make at least two pinch twists or three. You know why? Because dresses sometimes at the bottom, they're a little bit bigger, that's why. But it seems like I, I will not have enough. So, okay, you don't have to do this, but if you do it, you can leave two or 
flip it, twist. Yes, it's an option, you know, to make, see how, how this will look, okay? So you will have something like this. Let me make sure I twist it. Oh man, I have one pinch twist, so we have to be careful, but if that happens to you, don't panic, it's okay. Leave it in the back, that space that pop. If it, it pop one pinch twist, leave it in the back. It's gonna be fine. Now you can keep the pinch twist like this, or like this, whatever you think is better. I'm gonna keep it this way and see what happens, okay? Now, when you are here, now it's time to attach, okay, let's go with the face. I'm gonna just grab it from here, this pinch twist, pass it around, and uh, then just go up and measure kind of the idea of a face, like three finger long, um, and then tie it or pass it around with this piece. Cut and tight. That's it. The rest you don't need of the blush, so you have something like this. You can accommodate things in a moment or any time you want. <laughs> so you have something like this. Look, this already people is kind of start looking at wow, yeah, it's kind of looking like a cute angel. You see, it's all about playing with colors. So there we go. What else from here? Uh, we're gonna grab um, hair. Okay, let's go with hair. I'm using mocha brown. Um, and what I did is, um, actually, actually, I'm thinking now, let's go with the yellow. Yes, let's go with the yellow. And look, this is half like four finger bubble. So it's kind of like you're gonna stretch it in, make two finger bubble, two finger bubble each side. Okay, and then tie it together. Okay, then you're gonna make double pinch twist. Yes, okay. This, all this look really, you don't need it, but unless you want this to as an ornament, you can grab it, pull, pass this around. You have all these long things because in reality, it's gonna be easier to attach it to the Christmas tree if you have something bigger like this. Then it's gonna give it a space, you know, I think. If it's too short, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, really in reality, to attach it to the tree. You know, um, a real tree. <laughs> uh, the, uh, well, it's just an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it this way. When you have that, you wanna touch it on top, okay? And secure everything around. A lot of you already know that you don't have to do exactly the way I'm doing it. And here is also to expand your creativity and, you know, say, you know what? I can do this much better. I like what she's doing, but you know, I can make it better and I like that, that's perfect. And if you can share it later, I would love that. I would love to see how you make this time, this type of concept. Now, you have this, it's a balloon scrap. You just um, attach it again from here, all the way in the center, okay? And let's go and make two little bubbles. One and two and those are gonna be kind of like the hair, representing hair. And then pass it around here a couple times. And then you're gonna make just squishable two little bubbles to represent the hair and the front. Okay, that's it, look. And then keep passing it around, squishing and passing it around. And then you're gonna end up again in the same spot here to just finish more hair. So you will have just two more bubbles. And then with the rest, you just loose the air, tie them, and two, you have two bubbles there. Okay, and pass it over again to the center. Remember, 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 just do your best. I think orange will be another cute color to play with. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you, I think it looks adorable. I think it's it's all this a great idea. Now, um, remember at the beginning I told you, huh, let's not make a pinch twist now. I'm thinking we should with the white because it's gonna help this to stay more, you know, like, unless you want it to be looking like an angle, like it's flying, but no, you want this <laughs> to have an extra pinch twist here in the back, okay? To give some balance to the rest of things you just already made. So um, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna add a pinch twist. 
with this part unless with the brown you want to make in the back a pinch twist too it's it's possible so it's up to you i'm gonna make it with the white a little extra of my balloon scrap it's gonna be probably no more than two finger bubble pinch twist or tie it make it into a like this type of shape i'm always you know this is the, the good idea about you know having a scrap you can always you know attach or take things so this is just an idea i think it's a good idea to uh have designs that you can be playing with your scraps okay so there we go um so this is the design pretty much shopping time i'm gonna now experiment look i think it's a very cute idea a lot of people will recognize what you try to make and in a very fast easy way the, the size it's very you know cute especially for kids you know it, this is a very cute i think concept and idea because kids can wear it they can be holding they are gonna be thinking i'm gonna use it to decorate maybe a window maybe uh by the door you know maybe somewhere it is so light that it can be with any you know tack like if you know you can have an idea where is my tag <laughs> Cecilia, you cannot find it. Well, you know what I mean, right? Like a pin. Oh, okay, find one. Stuff like that. You know, you can put it into a wall and this easily can stay there. I think it's a very cute idea. I hope you can do it. Now, Sharpie time. Well, again, look, pay attention to this type of eyes. If you don't have a stickers, make your beautiful eyes. But I'm thinking I'm going to use these stickers. There are from LA Rocks, and these ones are kind of like cute. It can be brown. Yeah, let's go with brown. Look, these ones. So I'm gonna put one right here and the other one right there. Look, it's gonna save you time. Okay, then you're gonna make just a little bit, it doesn't have to be that big or you know, some detail like. And one other detail, like some pink, just like that. And this is my representation of a very cute angel. I hope you like it. I think, look, I just went with explaining and give you, you know, kind of the, the concept. Um, but really, this design is very easy, very fast. Wait, Cecilia, where are the arms? There, you know, sometimes you have to avoid details and I don't think that's necessary. This is a representation. And you can say, well, they have their hands in their pockets and it's all white, so white that you cannot see it. <laughs> or you can just make some little, little cute pinch twist, pinch twist here. <laughs> and I'm thinking it's gonna look like little boobies. <laughs> or it can be little hands. You can make it together so it's gonna look like this angel is praying, whatever you want it to be, I'm gonna leave it like this. I think this, it's okay, I like it, and I think it's a really cool idea. Have a wonderful day, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and please check out on the description of all my videos, you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Because thanks to your collaboration, your support, donating money to my Bellman PayPal account, sending balloons um what else visit my amazon wish list the things that i put on my amazon wish list are things that i really you know need or i kind of like thinking oh this will be awesome so you can collaborate with each other by buying anything from that amazon wish list and it will come direct to my house also in the description it's my address if you have balloons leftovers or balloons that you think let's share it with cecilia please all balloons are very well appreciated. Um, so my address is on the description of all my videos. Okie dokie. See you on the next tutorial and have a wonderful day. And happy holidays. Ciao, ciao.